Good evening everybody and welcome to Enfield Noir. It is Wednesday 16th of December. It is about 4.30 late afternoon, early evening. And I'm going to show you a few of the, the little hidden back streets of uh, my home area, which is the borough of Enfield in North London. Uh, specifically, I'm going to show you some of the the older parts um, around the the New River and the Enfield Marketplace. So, um, yeah, we'll look out as always for any individual details. As far as I know, there isn't a, a YouTube video on this part of Enfield. I could be wrong. Um, haven't come across across such a such an item, but uh, I'll um, soon be corrected if I'm if I'm wrong. So the borough of Enfield is a a northern London borough, quite a large one, in which you have a industrial east side, um, a central retail business commercial area and a sort of posh residential west side to, to very uh, crudely sort of sum it up. Um, and there's various sort of sub sub suburbs within within the borough but um perhaps i won't do too much talking on this one just let you soak up some of the the atmosphere it's wet uh say 10 celsius 50 fahrenheit typical english december weather I mean, no complaints from me. It's better than if it was sort of sub-zero. Yeah, I'll swing the phone around to show you. This is um, a sort of recreation area, sort of stroke park. Um, popular for dog walkers um, there's a few benches where if it's dry you could sit and have a sandwich etc so it's um, pretty pleasant in fact I saw one magazine article that was featuring the the so-called villages of London it may even have been the Time Out publisher or the evening's London Evening Standard, in which they discussed a number of the famous London villages, including Dulwich, Hampstead, Chelsea, etc., etc. And I was quite surprised to see Enfield Town in there, and they actually rated it as the most perfect London village. Um, I mean, it's, it's certainly a long way north of the city centre, so doesn't exactly qualify as, uh, as London, but um, it's certainly pretty pleasant if, if you can afford to, to live here. And to show you what's here, there's a sort of railway arch there. but I shall cross over. I'm fairly close to the station known as Enfield Chase, which runs from Hertfordshire and further north into central London, sort of terminating at King's Cross and uh, eventually Moorgate. 
and know that line was sometimes unreliable in the past. I'm not quite sure its sort of current status. But I've always liked the, the streets in this part of Enfield. I went to, to school not far from here and there's a old fat there's an old church and marketplace I think dating 500 600 years ago so it's um it's like um almost all of the the towns and marketplaces across England they've all got a heritage lasting several hundred years um unfortunately during the second world war some of those places were badly bombed uh, heavily damaged particularly thinking of places like coventry uh, bristol birmingham etc and now we're just outside a pub called the Cricketers Pub and have a look at that beautiful sign there, McMullen Independent Hertfordshire Breweries 1827. I'm holding one hand on the umbrella so I can't zoom you, zoom you up on that but um, even the street is pretty nice, Cricketers Arms Road. Yeah if I had two hands free I'd certainly zoom you up there unfortunately uh this is day one of an of an, another sort of semi-lockdown so the pubs are all closed which is uh which is a blow but um i did want to show you some of the detail up there on the brickwork there's another sort of cricketer mural which is nice and then these these lights which would normally be on and it's such a shame because this would be lit up in a very sort of Christmassy holiday style um, so hopefully that situation will will change again at some point but we'll go down here and explore some of these these little lanes and alleyways They've got a sort of beautiful tree there. I've lived in this area many, many years and it has excellent connections into central London. It has um, two mainline stations, Enfield Chase and Enfield Town, and you can easily get into central London in 30 minutes and it's also straddling the green belt so if you like your country walks uh, a sort of day's hike then there's pleasant fields and woodlands various parkland dotted around and you can see there's a another fine pub here called the crown and horseshoes uh, again closed unfortunately but it lies on this attractive passageway called River View EN2 Enfield 2 and you can see it there's a little canal type waterway which is called the New River which is actually a man-made uh, construction to deliver water from Hertfordshire into central London but um, showing you their beautiful looking riverside pub there. Let us go down here. I'll stay quiet and let you soak up the Enfield Noir atmosphere.
yes, not bad, eh? Pretty uh, picturesque, both by day and by night. See, there's a decent tree over there. beautiful tree Chapel Street.
was actually a literary connection to Charles Lamb um, in the the older street we just passed but I couldn't see the blue plaque I wanted to show you there was a Lamb House um, London Heritage plaque but I I couldn't see it in the in the dark so uh, we we missed that And on the right here is my old school, which dates back to 1558. And that's one of the art rooms. Um, I'll show you some detail there. Yeah, the oldest part of the school is just around the side here. Got the St Andrew's Church, I think it's called, just there. And then all this brickwork here is the school. And there's a fine uh, door there. The light is, of course, not great. And this plaque is in gentle memory of Elizabeth Hill Winchester Ford, 1883. And then here you have, with this uh, quadrant here, a much older part of the school. And there you go, Enfield Grammar School, founded 1557. And some beautiful iron wrought railings probably would have been one of the earlier 
sort of entrances and exits. You can see there's a a little uh, stone sort of sundial or something along those lines in there, and some of the corridors there. show you looking back there some great um, roofing there as well yeah the, the very oldest parts would be Elizabethan Jacobean but um, that's would be inside there and then just show you up there And here you have Enfield Marketplace. And I do like the windows here. This is a pub here, um, closed again, of course. This is the King's Head pub, uh, just there. And let's go around. So this is the, the old marketplace, which um, several hundred years old and then church there and then showing you of course in better light there you go 10 to 5. And you can see it's a pretty wet day today. And then I do like the lantern over there.
and through there you've got Enfield County School and the building is a little bit later in age I think it's uh, 19th century so that's it folks that's uh, your Enfield Noir video hope you enjoyed watching and to see more of my walks and explores around London just look at Kent Davidson Urban Adventures so I'll sign off here see you next time bye for now